hello in this tutorial we are going to look about user interface of ms project so when you will first open ms project this kind of screen will appear in front of you this is called as backstage view in backstage view we have different kind of options at left hand side we have two options as new and open so if you want to just create a blank project or a new project you can simply click over here on new okay and if you want to just open any existing file or existing project you can simply click on open option okay you can also open a new file or new project from here as well okay and with this we have different kind of templates over here you can use these templates as well like you can see over here we have software development plan we have created budget okay so you can just open this template simply you can click over here to open this template at bottom hand side we have recently open project listed over here okay right now we have only one project listed over here okay and uh, at bottom you can see we have account detail we have feedback and options as well so we'll just look about this option in one of our next tutorial now next if i want to just open a new project or if i want to just create a new project i'll simply click over here on blank project this kind of screen will appear in front of me on left hand side on top you can see this is called as quick access toolbar okay and in which we have different kind of options like save undo redo and if you want to just add any kind of option in quick access toolbar you can add over here okay so you can access any of the option quickly over here next to it we have title bar over here in which we have project name and a microsoft project professional okay title over here next to it at bottom you can see over here this is called as menu bar in which we have different menus like task resource report and we have project view help format okay and under this we have ribbon okay like if we are in task menu under this we have different kind of panels in the ribbon uh, like we have font panel schedule task insert likewise if i'll just go here in the resource menu i'll find different kind of panels in the ribbon over here okay next to it at bottom you can see we have timeline over here it will show the start of your project and end of your project okay so right now this is the new project okay so it is showing the start and the finish date at the same date okay and if i'll just add any kind of activities over here okay then i'll just link those activities it will show here the start date of our project and the finish date of our project okay so this is called as timeline at bottom hand side this is called as entry table where we can just add wbs and the activities okay and at right hand side this is called as chart graphical representations of our activities over here okay now next to it at the top you can see this is called as timeline in which we can show the time in days in months and in years as well okay so at bottom hand side this is called as status bar in which we have different kind of options okay you can see new new task as auto schedule and we have different kind of views over here so this is all about user interface of ms projects now let's open ms project and we'll just do some of the modification here in quick access toolbar as well here in the time scale okay so let's open the ms project now to open ms project simply we need to go here in the start of the window okay click over here and here you will find ms project if you have installed ms project okay so i'll just go here at down and you can see here we have just option as ms project okay or only project so i'll click over here to open this okay so it will take some time to open and now you can see the backstage view over here in which we have new option we have open option we have a blank project over here if you want to just create a new project we have different kind of templates we can just search online templates as well from here as well okay i have just recently opened project over here as well all of the list over here okay account account feedback and the option over here okay so in this regard let's suppose if i have any project in my desktop okay and i want to just open that particular project i can simply go here in open option okay and then i'll go here in the browse option okay then i'll just go into the location where i have just saved that particular project or file so i'll click over here let's suppose it is in okay over here so you can see over here we have different kind of uh, 
projects over here if i want to open any of the projects simply i'll just click on that particular project okay and i can go here open option to open the project okay so this is how we can just open any existing project okay so you can see over here so let me just close this one from here and then again the next thing is if you want to just open any new project you can do that as well okay so simply what you need to do is you need to just go here you can click over here on new option or you can go here with blank project option okay so for now i'll just go here on blank project to create a new project so i'll click over here now new project has been created with the name as project one now at top you can see we have just quick access toolbar okay in which we have options as open we have save option undo and the redo option okay now let's suppose if you want to just any kind of option over here you can simply click on this drop down okay and we have different kind of options over here let's suppose i want to just add save as option over here i'll simply click over here to add it you can see over here now if you want to just any add any kind of option from the ribbon all you need to do is you need to just right click on that particular option and you can go with this option add to quick access toolbar okay like this okay now next to it uh, you can just go here in more commands as well if you want to add from this list okay quick access toolbar list okay and here you will find different kind of options okay if you want to add any kind of option in quick access toolbar you can simply select that particular option let's suppose i want to just add here a cut option okay so i'll select this one then i'll just go with this arrow okay to just add it over here okay so i'll just click on this add let me just go here this one cat and then i'll just add it over here okay so next to it if you want to just arrange this one on any of the side okay you can arrange with these drop downs okay now next if you want to add any kind of separator or if you want to just uh, create a groups over here you can do that as well let's suppose for open save and uh, undo redo i want uh, the separate group then after that save as format painter and cut as different group so i'll go here in the redo and we have separator option i'll select this one i'll add it over here now separator has been added we have this group and this group these two groups okay then i'll simply press ok from here and you can see uh, the difference over here we have just open save option undo redo then we have separated this line and then again save and uh, we have format painter and cut option over here okay so this is how we can just add a different kind of options over here again i'll just go here in more commands and if you want to just uh, remove anything over from here from quick access toolbar let's suppose this separator double click over here or you can select any of the option and you can go with the remove option okay and then press ok from here now next to it we have menu bar over here in which we have task menu okay and under task menu we have different kind of panels you can see over here for resources you can see different kind of panels for report you can see different panels okay and uh, under this uh, we have this timeline over here where it is displaying start of our project and end of our project okay this is the entry table as i have already explained it okay where we can just enter our task name duration start date finish date and then predecessor as well and we can just add any kind of column over here with the right click okay and we have one of the option as insert column okay and we can just add any kind of column according to our need from here okay so you can add here like this okay and if you want to remove any kind of column you can just right click over here you can go with this option hide column okay and next to it we have just a chart over here and on chart you can see we have here the time scale okay so this is very important how you want to just show the time scale so simply right click over here and we have time scale option over here okay and we have top tire we have middle tire and we have bottom tire okay so at top tire you can see nothing is displaying over here because in time scale option it is selected as two tires okay middle and the bottom this one okay it is just selected as weeks and this one it is selected as days okay so for now i i want to just add here the top tire and a middle and the bottom as well okay so in this regard i'll just go here in top 
and then I'll just go here in time scale option and I'll select this one three times okay top middle and bottom select this one now you can see the preview okay we have just top middle and bottom now in top I want to show here what uh, we have different kind of options you can just show here years half years quarters month third of month okay weeks days hours and minutes even okay but in top I want to show here month okay and uh, next to it you can see here we have just month as January 2021 now next to it I'll just go here in middle tire and here I want to show weeks okay month per weeks what weeks so I'll select this one week and next to it we have bottom tire and at bottom I want to show the days so first month then week and then I want to show at bottom as days so you can see over here we have in the preview as top month then we have weeks 20 to 27 27 to 3 okay and then next to it we have here the days we have Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday okay likewise so if you want to just change the format or label of the days you can click on this drop down this is selected as SMT for Sunday as Monday then Tuesday okay so if you want this kind of format as you end Sunday MON for Monday Tuesday you can select this one as well okay so for now I want this one even though you can go here in the bottom in the middle tire and you can select the format as well on the labels okay so this is how you can just adjust the time scale and then I'll press simply OK from here and you can see the change over here at top we have month then we have weeks and then we have days over here okay so you can see January then February okay let me just go here and you can see over here February 2021 okay then we have weeks and the days as well so this is how we can just change the time scale okay so you can change the time scale according to your need now next and the last at the bottom you can see we have here status bar and in status bar you can see new task and it is selected as auto schedule you can just go with manual schedule as well I'll just explain what is auto schedule and what is manual schedule in our next tutorial okay so next to it we have different kind of views over here I can just switch into any other views as well right now we are in game chart view if I want to just go into task usage view, I'll click over here you can see the display over here if I want to just go into team planner okay I can just select this one and we have one of the option as resource sheet if I want to just go into the resource sheet I can click over here okay so I want to just go here in game chart view it is okay we have zoom option here as well okay if you want to zoom in or zoom out you can see time scale has been changed now we need to just uh, sell, uh, select this one time scale we need to just change it again okay right now as I just uh, change the zooming option you can see it is also changed so again I need what month like and then uh, we have just week options okay and bottom as days okay count mean if I'll select three as a count you can see it is just showing days as 20 then it is going to skip as 21 and 22 then it is showing 23 okay so count is 3 because it is 3 it is showing like this 20 then 23 then 26 okay after 21 and 22 it is showing 23 and if I'll select the count as 1 you can see it is just displaying like 15 16 17 let me just go with count as 2 19 then 21 okay and 4 21 then 25 okay so this is all about the count you can just set the count here as well okay for the weeks as well okay two count three count so you can select the count for the months as well okay so I'll press ok from here and uh, this is all about the user interface of MS project hope you really understand this session we'll see you in the next